bit hot and windy out here, but we're with my buddy Colton. Recently picked up his 2022 Road Glide. We've been doing a lot of modifications. You can see this right here. Stay tuned for all the videos. We've already got a film already ready to upload as soon as we get this one out of the way. There's a lot of content coming on both. So we're about to get on road. I got to get the helmet on. We got to get rolling. We're going to go up to this motorcycle shop that he wants to go up to and explore some Indians. I don't know why, but I guess we'll film that too and compare the Harleys versus the other brand. I, I don't care. This is, we're, we're going to be a Harley Davidson channel. So. <laughs> but you want to go look at Indian, so we'll go. You want to see 2022 Lowrider S content and you want to see these things modded, this is your channel. Subscribe. I appreciate all of you guys out there. So we're going to be doing a heavy build on this bike. We have a lot of modifications already ready to go. So let's get helmeted up, get the GoPro action going. It is brutally hot. It is like a hundred degrees out here. It is in freaking sane. Get it fired up. Let's go. <laughs> That's actually going to be coming in the next video. We're going to be fixing this crazy, quiet motorcycle. We're going to make it loud. Um, interesting because you know Indian has been around arguably longer than Harley Davidson. I'm a Harley guy obviously, but I disagree because they had like a 50 year break so I don't think it's really fair to say that they were still like in the fight. Now you guys know that Polaris like bought them out so, so I'm, we're gonna go in here and just I guess make a video out of it and see what's up but um, yeah definitely it would never replace this but you know it's kind of I guess it'd be kind of cool to see what's on the other side of the road. So let's go in here and take a look. Explore. Yes. Let's go. So we were just talking about this the other day. The difference between Indian and Harley. Yeah. And um, Jack was talking about it too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is this is kind of a cool video. I mean, you know, the content is here, so we might as well just bring it to you, you know. And uh, we got 22 Low Rider S, 22 Road Glide, and inside we have the competition. Let's go see what's up. Check it out. Well, they have. Oh, it's back there. So. <laughs> he said go from a Harley to a Challenger. Hey. Okay, that's nice though. It's nice. Okay. This would be your direct competition, I guess. Yeah. So, what's the price on this guy? 30? 30 grand. You paid how much? <clears throat> <laughs> so it's already cheaper and comes with a bunch of goodies. So, it's a good looking bike, honestly. I mean, I'm not a big chrome guy, but I'm sure they have different options for that. But yeah, I do like the layout. I mean, yeah, you still got some storage down here. Okay. It's actually push the lock so that's already an upgrade over the uh yeah. over yours yeah. so i don't know that headlight is actually pretty nice looking dude yeah, what is brembo. oh brembo brakes on a brick I, I don't know i don't know that you need brembo brakes on a bike like this but i mean i guess cool that they're there that headlight is good looking though the front fairing is nice I like this too, all the different design for like aero and so on and so forth Locking bags. Oh, nice. Wait, are these bigger than yours? I'd say a little bit, yeah. Yeah? They're a little bit wider. Yeah, just a teeny bit. Already got, a, got like a two up seat on it. Mm -hmm. It's nice and comfortable. Yeah, it is. Established 1901, but uh, you know, minus a 50 year break and then being bought by Polaris. So I think Harley is obviously still the winner there, but it's a good looking bike. Don't ask me, I'll buy that thing right now. <laughs> what? You're like 800 bucks. Dude, sign me up. How much is this one? 500? Oh my gosh, I'd buy the heck out. Look, ooh, ooh, dude. You see this? It's all carbon, dry dude, carbon. Dude, it's dry carbon. Yep. I love it. I love freaking dry matte carbon. It's like my favorite thing in the world. I mean, versus the, you know, the what the little Honda things? The Grom. The Grom, also electric. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. So what do we got? That's nice. Leather. This bike is sold, so I don't really want to mess with it. I like the, I like the, the matte finish on this. 
That is sharp. This is this is me like what I would do right here with the mat and get rid of a lot of that chrome. This looks a lot better than all that chrome. Twenty seven thousand bucks. That's not, bad. That's not bad at all. That is honestly not bad. And look, dude, you already got passenger pegs, something else you don't have to spend. So it's a lot of bang for the buck with Indian. What's up? Look at this though. It's got a 108, uh, 108 cubic inch. I got a 114, but look at the... 122 horsepower. Yeah, it's up on my horsepower by a lot. Look at that weight though. Ooh, it's a heavy pig. But for the bang for the buck, I guess for what you're paying, for what you get, this is something that people might actually want to consider. But there's something also about owning a Harley, you it's know? also got a 60 bar on it already. Yeah, so you got your rear passenger. Looks like it is. Quick disconnect too. Power trend. Wow. That's pretty sick, dude. Oh, so look at our controls. Look pretty uh, pretty good layout here. I imagine that's cruise control. I know nothing about Indians, but good looking bike. Okay, so this is adjustable too. Check this out right here. So oh, this, yeah, nice. yeah, so you don't have to mess with buying new windscreens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> dude. I really like this lock. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Something so simple. The road glide that he's got it just kind of flips up it doesn't lock in place not that it ever really comes open during you know your riding but still it's kind of like why couldn't we have that as well hey, look at that speed yeah they say finish the dash right 200 200 <laughs> oh check it out oh, sweet. Thank you. I appreciate it. oh look at those gauges man Ooh, gauges that's, nice. that's sick yeah, i like that that's fancy. Let's check out like the navigation stuff. Here comes your navigation. Yeah, that's really that's nice, nice color display. Low fuel, okay. That's pretty convenient. Mm -hmm. It knows that you're out of gas and it points you in the right direction to go get some. Look at that, though. It tells you your temps. Yep, so we don't even have that. PSI, because mine tells me. That's sick. Over here. Oh, dude, check this out. So you got LED, which we have, right? But then these are also LED. Something that. Yes, this is bright. Yep. Oh, that's sick, dude. That's also. Another light. I'm kind of digging it though. I like it. Oh, here's your button for the fox. Look at that. Oh. Ooh. Good things with the <laughs> So that's again less money that you'll have to spend. This is kind of something that if you're not like, you know, brand oil, you might want to come check out, I would think. That's only on two. It's not. Yeah. You ready for this? Yeah, sure. Surprise me. What'd you do? Oh, look what he's doing. Daddy. So it's 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 adjustable this way and up and down. That's so sick. That's all the way. So down. unless you wanted this to be like blacked out, you wouldn't really have to buy another one. Nope. That's pretty freaking cool. That is nice. I wonder with speed if that actually goes like automatic. That'd be interesting too. That's pretty cool. That, I'm not gonna lie. That's that's pretty sick. The wheels look good too. I like the uh, the red little pinstripe around the wheels. Yeah. Uh, oh, we got the tab performance. So sick. Tab. Check out tab performance. That's what we're going to be running on mine. So, uh, video's coming soon on that. Yeah, these are a little bigger than yours. They're a little wider, and I think they're a little longer. A little longer, too. yep. That's what I was going to say. The width is similar, but the, the length is it's definitely a little bit more cubic inch space I think inside of this so if you want to kick your legs up I already got you supported up right here pretty sharp a lot of bang for the buck all right check it out we're back at the garage getting ready to do a deep dive onto my 2022 lowrider s you guys can see the mess behind us we have a lot of stuff going on a lot of modifications make sure that you are subscribed here and please turn on post notification bell so that you can stay up to date with everything that's going on we are already getting started videos are going to be uploading to the channel here next couple of days so get ready but you know i've had a couple of days to reflect on it and it's kind of hard to unsee i think you know some of the prices and what you get bang for the buck wise with indian but what i think indian lacks and why you should maybe still choose harley if you're not brand specific or loyal you know there's a heritage that goes into it you know this is my first harley davidson i'm loving the experience so far you know the community out there is worldwide so it's 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 kind of like a brotherhood almost but 
you know, or sisterhood if you're a female writer. I think that with the Harley Davidson, even though they technically may not have been around as long, if you want to do the math, uh, yeah, they have because they haven't had that significant 50 year break and they never got bought out by another company. So there is that to definitely consider if that matters to you. You know, if you just want a motorcycle with a lot of features, bang for the buck, you know, maybe go check out Indian. I think that some of the stuff that they offer is exceptional. Great experience being able to go check out the few models that that dealership did have. But at the end of the day, I'm still happy with my Harley Davidson. So let me know like in the comments, what do you think about all this? I mean, I think that if you are not brand loyal and you just want a motorcycle of some type, some kind of cruiser back out there, maybe go check out Indian. But I would definitely highly consider Harley Davidson as well. You might spend a little bit more money, but you're gonna be adopted into a family. You're probably gonna see a lot more Harley Davidsons on the road. Something else that we might wanna consider, and I'm a little bit uneducated in this, so let, again, let me know in the comments like, what I'm about to say. The aftermarket support with Harley Davidson, sky's the limit. There's so many different ways you can build a Harley. You can take the bike and you can really make it your own. And again, I have to do the research, but I don't think that the aftermarket support is going to be as vast as Harley Davidson. As we wrap up the video, I will say that I think it's a really cool experience that we got to go check them out. And I do want to go and do this again, maybe in the future and, you know, look at some of the other options as well that Indian has to offer because they didn't have everything on their lineup on the, that, that specific floor and that specific dealership. Let me know your experience. What has that experience been like? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below. Until next video, stay safe out there riding. I'll see you guys next video. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments and God bless all of you. I'll see you later. Bye.